Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario back again with another video. Now today I'm actually going to do a, uh, an, an investment type of video, not a day trading type of video. I am an, also a long-term investor. I do like to invest in the long term in the same companies that I like to day trade. It does give me an edge. Uh, it forces me to do the background research, the fundamental analysis, like earnings per share, uh, earnings and things like that. Um, and also the technical analysis. So uh, it, there's definitely an edge uh, to, to um, investing in a long term that will help you in day trading. So what I'm going to go over in this video is the rotation that's been happening out of the uh, in stay at home plays like companies like Zoom, uh, Peloton and Netflix. Now that those companies, they pretty much benefited from the pandemic. Now that the pandemic um, is, it looks like maybe over in the uh, hopefully near future because of the Pfizer news of the vaccine. Um, heard, I'm sure you guys have heard of the uh, vaccine where Pfizer and Moderna both have a vaccine. They have a over 90% efficacy rate, which is really good news. Company investors now are starting to uh, switch and rotate, you know, take profits out of those stay at home plays and start buying back into the stocks or the companies that got affected the most by the pandemic. Uh, so they, the large institutions, large investors are now expecting that, you know, now that the economy may open next year, uh, and again, cross our fingers, we'll, we'll see, we're still not 100% sure they may open next year. They wanna start already dipping their toes into companies and in, um, like airlines, um, you know, uh, banks, uh, real estate, retail, uh, let me see, I have a list, energy, restaurants, aerospace, and even the cannabis. Now, the cannabis plays, uh, I believe that is mostly has to do with the elections, uh, with President Biden, Democratic candidate, which is more uh, in favor of uh, the cannabis industry. But overall, money has been going into those sectors and those industries. So I'm going to explain to you guys why that is important and what companies I'm personally looking at, companies I, I am also invested in. Uh, now, just to let you know, guys, I am not a financial advisor. Uh, this video is just for educational and entertainment purposes. Now, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. Let me share my screen and let's get started. Okay. So um, I'm going to show you guys, uh, first of all, the companies that benefited uh, from the pandemic. Um, a huge beneficiary was Zoom. Zoom, uh, of course, I'm actually using Zoom right now, believe it or not. I love the software. And a lot of companies who decided to work from home, uh, they have their employees use Zoom. And not just companies, schools all over the world. So the Zoom benefited tremendously. You know, look at this, the stock of, let me see, one year sharp back in here in March. You know, it literally traded $100 a share, you know, back in March. And now it's like, at, you know, 400. So it literally four times your money. Uh, now, I did invest in Zoom. I actually started taking some profits. Um, uh, I've been taking profits here, and I've been day trading it here. You see these uh, little arrows I've been day trading, but I've also been taking profits in long-term account. Uh, and I'm kind of been buying, but I haven't added yet because I want to see how this uh, rotation will play out. So Zoom is some, one of the companies that, again, is, looks like large institutions may be rotating, taking some profits. Also Peloton. Peloton, if you guys are aware, is that bike, the in-home exercise bike, where uh, there was a commercial that was a little bit controversial, that became kind of famous and went viral. Uh, that's the company I'm talking about. Peloton, tremendous move. Uh, I think in March, it was trading around $20 to $104 right now. So we're talking about like five times, 500% return. Uh, and just looking at the topping action, the price action, I can see some investors are taking some profits, um, you know, and maybe rotating. So that's one of them. Uh, now, the other one is Netflix, of course. Who doesn't have Netflix? But because of the pandemic, uh, a lot of people who weren't signed up finally decided to find, sign up. So if you see Netflix, uh, it was trading around uh, 300 when uh, in March, when the beginning of the pandemic, and it literally went to uh, 500. So maybe not the big, big, huge returns like Zoom and Peloton, but uh, we're still talking about uh, eh, close to a 50% move. Actually, uh, excuse me, uh, close to a 100% move. So it still did really good for such a large company. So what's happening now? Now that Pfizer uh, announced, and not only Pfizer, but Moderna announced uh, COVID vaccines, they have a over 90% efficacy rate, uh, which is really good news. 
um, that may be available next year during quarter two. We're talking about maybe August or July uh, that could be available to the mass public. Uh, that could change things. You know, we could maybe start moving, open up the economy, open up things up and maybe start going to normal. Now, again, this is not 100 percent, but now that that news is out, investors want to deep in. And, and, excuse me. Investors want to uh, start. Uh, you could say um, put their, their feet into uh, um, or, uh, these, these companies that got affected like uh, airlines, restaurants, retail, um, and even, uh, let me see, real estate investment trusts and also banks who got severely hurt by the pandemic. So they're, there you get the word, it's tipping their toes. They're tipping their toes into these investments because they feel like once everything opens up, everything's gonna go back to, to what it was before. So. Uh, in terms of companies that I really like, now in terms of the um, the air, uh, excuse me, airlines, I, I actually really like Alaska Airlines. I use Alaska Airlines a lot, so I actually started investing in Alaska Airlines back in March. Uh, so I've been selling and holding, taking profits, retaining my shares. So I do have some Alaska Airlines. I actually bought some more. I also like United Airlines. Uh, I do like United Airlines. I think long term they have a pretty decent balance sheet. Now I did used to own American Airlines, uh, but I've been having I've been actually you know very disappointed you know because of the COVID vaccine news. It kind of had this huge jump, but it's kind of sold after that. And I just been very disappointed with their their uh, their the performance. And I decided to sell American Airlines and buy United Airlines. So I decided to kind of rotate now. They take some profits, very very small profits. I almost. Uh, pretty much ended up uh, uh, pretty much break even on this investment and then decided to buy American Airlines, uh, excuse me, United Airlines, because I believe United Airlines has a better balance sheet uh, in terms of cash in hand, things like that. Now, uh, also Boeing. Boeing is another company that is uh, going to benefit from when things open up. Uh, now, they had a recent uh, good PR news announcements like the uh, 737 MAX that has finally, finally been approved by the uh, FAA, I think, I believe. Uh, so they're now they're able to use that and sell those airplanes. So that's really good news. I think they're going to benefit a, a lot. I do own some uh, Amer uh, Boeing. And uh, let me see. So in terms of Amer uh, airlines, that's pretty much it. Now banks, uh, I do love this bank. Um, this is Silicon Valley uh, Bank. Uh, let me see, where's the ticker? Ticker is here, SIVB, Silicon Valley Bank. It's a bank. It's actually in the Bay Area in California, northern part of California. Uh, they do a lot of investments and in, in, or lend money to a lot of uh, startups. Uh, so they're kind of almost like a venture capitalist. So I, I think they are a venture capital firm as well, but they're also a bank. Uh, and their stock has been doing really good. You look at the last uh, earnings reports. I mean, they beat, you know, it was estimated $5.45 earnings per share, and they actually beat $8.47. So they've actually been beating their earnings in the last four quarters. They beat the Chapazza earnings in the last four, actually, except, except on this time. But overall, you know, looking into their, their chart and their performance, um, I really like this. So, you know, this is one of the banks I really like. Now, next sector that I'm looking at is real estate investment trust. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I do like um, this company. This is, uh, let me see, let me, company, Essential Property Realty Trust. Um, they do a, a lot of, um, there's, a, there's, they do a lot of uh, commercial, but also residential property, and they have a decent dividend that they pay out. Uh, so I do like them long term. They have good properties overall. So again, this is a long term play. I think they're going to benefit when things get, go back to normal. Now looking into energy, uh, for energy, Tesla is my main, main uh, play. I know a lot of people are like, why aren't you looking at oil companies? Uh, I guess I'm just biased overall. I really feel like uh, even though the oil companies, it, it is, they are part of the energy that got severely hit, I also feel like things may change. The, the, there's a whole new industry with, with electric cars, and I feel like Tesla is a company that's going to benefit a lot. Not only do they have electric cars like the a Model 3, uh, the a Model S, or the Model X, or Model Y, but they also have batteries. Uh, they also have solar panels for your home. They have uh, chingles. They actually, they, you know, they, they, they resort uh, energy from the sun, and they could power your home. So they have a lot of great stuff. Oh, they also have batteries that you can store in your house to store, ba uh, store, store energy uh, in your home. So I really think that's the future. Uh, so there's just so much potential in this company. 
and today they announced that uh, actually today, uh, actually yesterday, it was also announced that they're going to be added to the S&P 500. Now we don't know what sector yet, um, you know, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, they're going to be added on December 21st. Now I did day trade it yesterday. I did lose some money, uh, but I've been invested long term for a while already, for over three years, and I actually did. Uh, They've been buying these dips, you know, on, on these lows around 350, 400, buying these dips. And actually I ended up buying even more once it broke 450 in my long-term account. So I do like it for a long term. I think this is a trillion dollar company in the next five to 10 years. So I am, I am a long-term investor in, in Tesla. So I really like it. Now moving into restaurants, restaurants. I really like Dave and Buster's. Um, I've been there several times. I used to go there when I was a kid. Um, and I used to have parties there for my birthdays from brothers and a family and birthday parties. It was just overall a great time to go to Dave and Buster's. Their food is pretty decent as well. And it's just a great time, you know? Uh, so I really think they're going to benefit once things open up and things go back to normal. They've been, again, got severely hit, um, in the last, uh, you know, since the start of the pandemic, but I really think things will turn around once things open. So let me see. Now we're looking at aerospace. I do like this company, uh, Space. Well, uh, it's not called Space. It's called, uh, let me see, uh, Virgin Galactic. There you go. Uh, they're the same company that used to own uh, Virgin Airlines. Um, I believe Russell Branson, a uh, very famous entrepreneur, he owns this company. He has a lot of cloud, I guess you could say, a, a lot of a really good reputation, similar to Elon Musk, actually. Elon Musk and Russell Branson, they're pretty much at the same level. Uh, they have uh, a lot of, uh, you know, celebrity uh, cloud and, and well-recognized, uh, you know, really good reputation as entrepreneurs. So they both, uh, I think, in terms of the aerospace, uh, aerospace I think uh, Virgin Galactic, Galactic is going to be one of the companies going to benefit from that industry, from that sector. Now, the last sector that I'm looking at is cannabis. Now, these are some of the companies I really like. Um, I do like CGC Canop Canopy Growth. Let me see. Uh, yes, Canopy Growth Corporation. Now, they're a Canadian-based company. Um, and they kind of pretty much, they're the, one of the biggest companies with the biggest uh, market cap in Canada. And I think they're the ones that are going to benefit the most. Um, when uh, the, uh, the, the, you could say the, uh, the industry grows and continues to grow over time. Um, they, uh, they have a small, I think a small market share of the U S but I also feel like now that, uh, states like New Jersey and others decided to approve recreational marijuana, I think they're going to have more opportunities to, uh, to, to dip their, dip their toes in that, in that, in, in those markets. Now I also like this other company, uh, in, in the same space. It's called, um, Curaleaf Holdings. Another cannabis, recreational cannabis. Now, this is a U.S.-based company. Uh, I'm also a long-term investor in this. I really like it, too. Uh, now, there's another one. Uh, let's see. Green Thumb, I believe Green Thumb Industries. Uh, they're based in, out of Chicago, uh, my hometown. So, I also really like this company for, again, long-term investing. I think they're going to benefit. Now, they, also, they actually have a lot of stores in Chicago and other, other areas that are now going to be now it's going to be legal to operate and sell the recreational marijuana i really see these companies expanding to the state so um that's pretty much it guys so i hope you guys learned something from this video guys um let me uh all right here you go there you go so i hope you guys learned something from this video now again like i mentioned earlier i'm not a financial advisor uh this video is for entertainment and educational purposes if anything, hopefully this videos help you kind of understand how investments works in terms of rotations and sectors and, and how each companies, how companies benefit from certain situations in the market. Uh, the pandemic is a, a perfect example of how companies uh, could either get hurt or even benefit, you know, depending on the situation of the market condition. So I, again, I hope you guys learned from this video. Don't forget to smash this uh, like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you guys will hear from me soon. Have a good one, guys. Take care.